Okay, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to discuss the five problems that professionals face in a recession. So let's get started quickly. The answers that you find in this presentation will help you increase your clientele and your patients for your practice. These are um, common situations that other professionals have come across and uh, other an uh, questions that they had and uh, we're going to answer those uh, one by one. But let's go over the five main uh, problems that uh, most uh, doctors and professionals uh, face when they go through a recession like this. Okay, so the number one uh, problem they go through is the loss of clients and the lack of new clients. Number two is the lack of exposure during a recession. Number three is they don't have any lead generation program or a follow-up program for their clients that they've lost. So now they can't get them back. Number five, four is the lack of marketing budget. And number five is the lack of time to pursue uh, new patients or new clients. So let's get started with some of the questions that uh, have come up because of these problems. Number one, my patients and clients have stopped coming in due to the recession and job cuts. How can I regain those lost clients? My answer to that would be to use an email campaign to offer a special discounted rate um, uh, for those clients that you already have. Uh, you probably already have a database with people um, that are already your clients that have given you uh, their email address. Uh, now is your time to offer a special rate uh, for the month or for the week. Maybe you have a special awareness month uh, like breast cancer uh, month. If they come in for a free screening, a free mammogram, uh, something like that to get them back into the door. Uh, the other way to do this is to uh, stay connected using Web 2.0. Um, make your offer um, throughout the different networking sites, uh, social networking sites like uh, Facebook or Twitter. Um, making your offer known uh, throughout the community, even LinkedIn, uh, places that people will hang out at on the info. Some of the things you can do for that. Give them information. Make a video uh, series. Do a uh, how to do a, a free breast breast exam at, at your house, you know, and do a video of something like that, and upload it to uh, the video sites. So anything to get traffic back to your uh, to your website. How do you increase your clientele without adding a sales force? Well, what I would normally say is to outsource. Uh, everything to uh, someone else or to train someone in your office to do those uh, tedious tasks you know uh, maybe you want to write an article maybe you want to start a blog um, online so that you can create a following uh, you can either outsource that which is the most cost-effective way or train somebody in your office um, to do that like an assistant an office uh, manager across this a lot because most of the time uh, especially during a recession the advertising and marketing budget gets scrapped they don't have time because they're so used to um, doing billboards and newspaper print ads that it's so outrageous that they can't afford it anymore so it gets scrapped well the good news is uh, we focus online and uh, we would suggest to take your traditional offline marketing and take that money and put it towards online advertising so you get more bang for your buck. For example, if you're a lawyer and you're spending 1,200 hours a month on billboard advertising, why don't you just take that money and put it towards pay-per-click and for every visitor it's only going to cost you five cents a visitor for 24,000 directed uh, 
visitors going to your website. So I would rather have 24,000 directed visitors coming to my site, signing up to my mailing list, rather than uh, putting a billboard out there not knowing uh, how to measure those results. So that's something you need to think about is changing your traditional offline marketing to, to online. And plus, the money that you're going to save by putting your advertising money online, you can offer your clients a different service. Um, I don't know. You could come up with a, a service that you wanted to, to add, but you could, never could um, with the increase of your new clients. What's the best way to get the most exposure for free or at a minimum budget, like a shoestring budget? Well... One of them is to take your information that you have, um, whether it's your article, your blogs, your videos, and submit them to the social networking sites so that you could get involved with the community online um, and get local people involved to, uh, to start coming to your website and start coming to your practice. Also, use a pay-per-click. Like I said, five cents a click can get you a visitor to your website to get them signed up to your mailing list so that you can market to them uh, for future use and then also uh, to outsource you don't have to pay benefits you don't have to pay um, you know special uh, perks or anything like that you can outsource it you can go to uh, elance.com or get a freelancer.com and uh, for special projects like this. What is a lead generation program? A lead generation program is a program that captures vis visitors and potential clients to your website so that you can market to them for future sales. You see it all the time. People have to sign up to get a, a special coupon or a special discount or if, if you're into travel you have to fill in your name and your uh, destination uh, in order for them to get you the best price you've seen those uh, those are what we call a lead generation program so how do you capture these leads you start by using online tactics that we talked about the social networking the the articles to gain that traffic back to your website so when they add your e the email address then you can follow up with them for future campaigns, discounts, uh, and things like that. You have to connect with them and continue to keep them informed. I know I should be spending more time advertising my practice, but I don't have time, so what should I do? Again, we go back to outsourcing. Either have someone in the office do it or outsource the project to somebody else. Tell them what you want to do. You want to create a buzz for your business and your practice locally, and you want to do it online. So give them that information and then outsource it and you'll be glad you did. You'll have uh, one less headache that you have to worry about and just have to be concerned about dealing with the uh, clients coming in. Now how do I get in the top 10 rankings on the search engines? This is a, a big question a lot of people have. Number one, you can start a blog. The search engines love blogs. Submit your articles and your information to the article directories. You can upload your video clips to the top 25 videos, strongly promoted because they can tell your story and your message. So if you have a video clip, you know, as many video article sites as possible. A clip that optimize each piece of information, your articles, your blogs, to to for specific keywords for your industry. IMS do for your practice. Number one, we would an analyze your website and make suggestions to make it better. Help you get local exposure using local online advertising. Now this is something that Google does not do. Google focuses on international advertising. You give them the keywords that you want to promote and then they'll just send it all over the world. Um, but what we do is optimize uh, the keywords specifically for your practice and your location so that you can get 
uh, local exposure. You know, if someone is reading the news, um, a local newspaper, a local uh, radio station's website, you would come up alongside with them uh, in the local search. You know, that's what we would do is optimize that for locally. And then we would help direct more people to your website that you can gain credibility and build your client list online. Will we create a lead generation program for you? Sure, we can do that. We create, uh, what we'll do is create a capture page for you so that you can gather the leads coming in. And then we'll implement a web form on your website so that we can also give you a monthly report of the names and the data that you requested. And then we hand them off to you and then you guys can do your own email campaigns uh, throughout the month. Now we can do email campaigns, but that's a whole different, uh, a whole different thing. But yeah, we can do them too. So we, not only can we build the capture page for you, put the form on your website, give you monthly uh, reports, but we can also do the email campaigns for you at a different price. Our company, IMS Integrated Media Solutions in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Well, you can write to us at answers at getacluemarketing.com or you can call us at 202-480-9790 and you can contact us so that uh, we can set up a campaign for you. We can do a, um, a lead at any time. Um, we'll be happy to help you out and give you some suggestions. Um, you know, if you want to just uh, give, drop us an email with your questions. If you have any questions, um, we can get back to you as soon as possible and then uh, we can go from there. So thanks for uh, watching and we appreciate your time and I hope this presentation helps you. We're going to send you out even more information that will help you with your practice so that you can get more clients, more patients um, to your list and build your, your client list. We also wanted to let you know about a, a uh, something exciting that's going to happen within the next 30 days so stay tuned for that and thanks again for watching